Hey, this is Chug, and I'm here to talk about key bindings. Now, there are a couple of points that I would like to make, the first of which is that the point-and-click rifle, shaft, and rocket launcher are all bound to mouse buttons. Now, the reason we chose this is because we want them to be able to be accessed while moving however we need to move. We're dodging, we're pulling out our weeble, we're air strafing, and we can pull out any of these weapons and it has zero impact on what's happening on our keyboard. This is really important because these three weapons are the most powerful direct fighting weapons in the game. If I am fighting mid-range, I'm using the shaft. If my opponent steps wide, I'm using the pincer. If my opponent is stepping close, I'm using the rockets. Contrast that with the grenade launcher. Am I going to be switching to the grenade launcher in this situation? Maybe it'll hit, but it's very easy for them to dodge. You know, it's a slow projectile. There's plenty of time for them to move out of the way. It, you know, it, it has vertical movement as well. It bounces. It's very difficult to hit in a direct fight. But let's say that this were a, a long pathway, and my opponent was standing there, and I was coming in this direction. They pincer me, and I and I read that hey, he might chase. I could reflect off this wall, perhaps apply a little bit more damage, and then defend with one of the more direct weapons. Use, only using the grenade launcher to set up a direct fight. So because I'm pulling it out in this very low pressure situation where, like, I might hit, I might not hit, whatever, I'm, I'm just throwing it down to run. Or to uh, deter them. Similar with the blaster, like, am I really trying to kill an opponent at that kind of range? No. It's, it's going to be defensive, deterrence, these sorts of reasons. It's never going to be the weapon I switch to in a direct fight under pressure. So we can see that we have mouse buttons for these weapons, very powerful in direct fights, and then the grenade launchers on Z, you know, very low priority. The blasters on F. This would require me to remove my finger off of uh, D, which is my move right key. Shotgun is my worst bind, because obviously when you're going to use it, it's going to be in close range. And because I'm close range, movement is very important. I don't want to have to lift my, my finger my, my finger off of my strafe keys, I have to use my thumb to hit it. Yeah, it's very awkward, but um, that's what I'm working with right now. So that's weapon key bindings. Assess what kind of fights and what kind of situations you pull them out in and assign them a key based on that priority. So the second point is finger efficiency. So let's look at the use item or weeble key, which is shift, and look at that with crouch and control. So if I'm crouching through the map, Am I going to be looking to use my Weeble? In some cases, sure. Maybe I want to be sneaky and send my opponent off the map. That can happen, but for the most part, these aren't going to be used in conjunction with each other. For me, my, my Weeble usage is going to be my Weeble usage is going to be at speed or defensively, not from like a silent position. That's that's one instance. The second instance, which I think is more pronounced, is that my jump key the space, and my dodge key is ALT. Now my thumb controls both of these keys, and the fact that you're never going to be dodging and jumping at the same time, because it's not possible in this game. You can't dodge and jump. It just doesn't work. So I've got one digit of my hand controlling both of these functions. That will never happen at the same time. So I'm never going to have a moment where my thumb is going to get confused about what it wants to do. And it's freeing up my other fingers to use other things. Perhaps I could be dodging and throwing a weeble and switching to the, the shaft. This is completely free. This is what my, my config, my, my key bindings, have set up for me. And it's important that you have this working for you, because this is how you interact with the game. You know, you're, you're dealing with opponents that are switching to weapons, taking positions, you need to be responding to that, and if you've got key bindings that sort of get in your way, it's just it's unnecessary difficulty, an unnecessary barrier to you doing what you want to do. So uh, there, I hope you uh, learned something and that it was helpful, and I'll see you later.